the only necessary thing. Back when I was a much younger man, my shaman guide at the time told me about 90% of what you're doing is unnecessary. And like most of what he said back then, it went sailing right over my free little head. I remember chuckling ironically at the statement at the time, but it stuck with me, although it wasn't until recently I actually understood what he meant. Necessity is really an anathema to quantum living. Why? Because necessity, by definition, requires there be just one solution. This or that necessity is required in order to function. Or we can't solve such and such a problem without this particular necessity. The thing is, once something becomes necessary, it reduces infinite possibilities down to zero. Not a way we want to go with limitless quantum living. This is not to say that there aren't such things as logical steps or system requirements. In the quantum sense, such things are really more like chosen possibilities rather than necessities. You decide to go down a certain path of action, and yes, there are predictable things that happen, and they may even seem like they're required. But from a quantum perspective, when things start becoming necessary is when we need to step back. Sociopolitically, necessities are really code for getting others to give up their personal power. We hear about these necessities from people in power attempting to use necessity as an excuse not to explain or be open to creative input from other people. We must do this because it's necessary. No, it isn't. There's always another way besides what is necessary. If we cancel this code necessity, we reclaim what it is to create our greater, grander life. Living by the necessary code will put you in slave mode and can be an extremely compelling way to limit yourself and those around you. Instead, how about checking the melodrama of necessity at the spiritual quantum door and reevaluate situations from a new possibility. Possibilities trump necessities in this game of quantum living, and by throwing off the shackles of what is necessary, a new and expanded version of things comes into view. Things that are necessary obscure a more efficient, better way of doing something. And we're back to what my teacher was talking about with the 90%. And yet... Beyond all the analyzing, planning, and doing, there is one ultimate necessity, and I think this is what my teacher would have said next had I really gotten what he had said the first time. The only thing necessary is to be. We cannot not be. It is a necessity of creating life. It is the cause behind everything. By focusing on what it is to be, we create a giant shortcut to the realization of our dreams and desires. This gets down to a basic tenet of quantum living. The universe you're experiencing is the reflection of who you are being. Want to change your life? Be something else. In this equation, there are no requirements, no necessities, other than being. Sure, there are always things to do, but those things are reflections of who you are, and they don't have to be the necessary requirements, limitations, shoulds, and shouldn'ts of a slave's life. Those are all ego constructs that complicate and tangle up the infinite simplicity and infinite possibilities of you just being you. If you can take a moment and just take a look at what percentage of your life is a necessity of doing, compared with simply being, you may find some new ways of approaching life's situations. Just be. Breathe. Step back. Ask for infinite possibilities, and then watch the complications, worries, and necessities fall away to a panorama of ease and joy. Just be. It's the only necessary thing. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx.
www.pureenergyrx.com.